vegan because the truly faithful obey God's commandments. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh karde han ane pashama. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Every plant and every flower even speaks volumes of testimony on this subject. Intricate in construction, exquisitely beautiful in form and texture, each speaks of a wisdom and skill above the human. Please continue watching for the existence of a supreme intelligent creator established from the divine plan of the ages by Charles Taze Russell, part one of two. Hello, elegant viewers. I'm Patricia. The joyous people of United States Virgin Islands wish you well on your spiritual path with God's love and blessings. Welcome to The Existence of a Supreme Intelligent Creator Established from the Divine Plan of the Ages by Charles Taze Russell, Part 1 of 2, On Words of Wisdom. Charles Taze Russell, also known as Pastor Russell, was an American religious leader, author, and lecturer. He was the founder of the Christian denomination of the Jehovah's Witnesses, a group that emerged from the Bible student movement in the United States. The Bible student movement was based on the teachings and ministry of Mr. Russell. He is noted for his analytical interpretations of the Holy Bible and for dedicating his life and resources to the preaching of the future establishment of a golden age on earth. According to Mr. Russell's research of the Holy Bible, God's kingdom will rule the earth through Christ. In 1879, Mr. Russell started a Bible journal, now called the Watchtower. He established the Watchtower Bible and tracked society for the purpose of distributing religious literature. He remained president of the society until he passed away in 1916. Mr. Russell's books and booklets were widely read, with 16 million copies in 35 languages. In addition, his weekly sermons were published by thousands of newspapers. Among his most well-known works is the seven-volume series, Studies in the Scriptures. The Divine Plan of the Ages is written to bring light, joy, peace, and communion with God to numerous lost, needy, and bewildered souls. It offers the truth by showcasing its strength and beauty, which progressively serves to enhance faith and in closer proximity to the Lord. In realizing the truth, one will realize the senseless, harmful errors that they had previously made and thus gladly discard them. Today, we will read a selection from Volume 1 of Charles Taze Russell's Studies in the Scriptures, entitled The Divine Plan of the Ages, The Existence of a Supreme Intelligent Creator Established. The Bible has provided sufficient evidence to reaffirm that God is the Creator of all things. In the study of the Holy Scriptures by Pastor Russell, he further substantiated the existence of Almighty God through simple reasoning. Scripture Studies, Volume 1, The Divine Plan of the Ages, The Existence of a Supreme Intelligent Creator Established even from the standpoint of the skeptic, a reasonable and candid search into the unknown by the light of what is known will guide the unbiased, intelligent reasoner in the direction of the truth. Yet it is evident that without a direct revelation of the plans and purposes of God, 
men could only approximate the truth and arrive at indefinite conclusions. But let us for the moment lay aside the Bible and look at things from the standpoint of reason alone. He who can look into the sky with a telescope, or even with his natural eye alone, and see there the immensity of creation, its symmetry, beauty, order, harmony, and diversity, and yet doubt that the creator of this is vastly his superior both in wisdom and power. Or who can suppose for a moment that such order came by chance without a creator? has so far lost or ignored the faculty of reason as to be properly considered what the Bible terms him a fool, one who ignores or lacks reason. The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. Book of Psalm, chapter 14, verse 1. However it happened, at least, that much of the Bible is true, as every reasonable mind must conclude, for it is a self-evident truth that effects must be produced by competent causes. Every plant and every flower even speaks volumes of testimony on this subject. Intricate in construction, exquisitely beautiful in form and texture, it speaks of a wisdom and skill above the human. How short-sighted the absurdity which boasts of human skill and ingenuity and attributes to mere chance the regularity, uniformity and harmony of nature, which acknowledges the laws of nature while denying that nature has an intelligent lawgiver. Some who deny the existence of an intelligent creator claim that nature is the only God and that from nature all forms of animal and vegetable developments proceeded without the ordering of intelligence, but governed, they say, by the law of the survival of the fittest in a process of evolution. This theory lacks proof, for all about us we see that the various creatures are of fixed natures that do not evolve to higher natures. And though those who hold to this theory have made repeated endeavors, they have never succeeded either in blending different species or in producing a new fixed variety. No instance is known where one kind has changed to another kind. Changes such as the transformation of caterpillars into butterflies are not changes of nature. The caterpillar is but the larva hatched from the butterfly's egg, though there are fish that can use their fins for a moment as wings and fly out of the water and frogs that can sing. They have never been known to change into birds, and though there are among animals some which bear a slight resemblance to man, the evidence is wholly lacking that man was evolved from such creatures. On the contrary, investigations prove that though different varieties of the same species may be produced, it is impossible to blend the various species or for one to evolve from another. For the same reason, the donkey and the horse, though resembling each other, cannot be claimed as related, for it is well known that their offspring is imperfect and cannot propagate either species. Surely, if an intelligent nature were the creator or evolver, she would continue the process, and there would be no such thing as fixed species, since without intelligence nothing would arrive at fixed conditions. Evolution would be a fact today, and we would see about us fish becoming birds and monkeys becoming men. This theory we conclude to be as contrary to human reason as to the Bible when it claims that intelligent beings were created by a power lacking intelligence. One theory regarding the creation, accepting man, by a process of evolution, to which we see no serious objection, we briefly state as follows. It assumes that the various species of the present are fixed and unchangeable, so far as nature or kind is concerned. And though present natures may be developed to a much higher standard, even to perfection, these species or natures will forever be the same. This theory further assumes that none of these fixed species were originally created so, 
but that in the remote past they were developed from the earth and by gradual processes of evolution from one form to another. These evolutions under divinely established laws in which changes of food and climate played an important part may have continued until the fixed species, as at present seen, were established, beyond which change is impossible. The ultimate purpose of the Creator in this respect, to all appearance, having been reached. Though each of the various families of plants and animals is capable of improvement or of degradation, none of them is susceptible of change into nor can they be produced from other families or kinds, though each of these may attain to the perfection of its own fixed nature. The Creator's design as to nature having been attained, farther change in this respect is impossible. God is truth, and the truth is God. During a radio interview on November 28, 1999, in Cape Town, South Africa, Supreme Master Ching Hai provided insights on the many aspects of God. Well, he can see many aspects of God because God is infinite. So, for example, one aspect is the light and another aspect is the way he speaks to you, has impart wisdom to you. In the voice sounds like thunder, in the voice loud like the ocean, voice like melody, voice that soothes your soul and calm your nerves and open your wisdom and 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 dear you to okay. him again and make you become a saint, make you become heavenly being again, that where you came from. But you can also see Jesus or Buddha here yes. as representatives, also the past masters, and talk to them and learn from them. Happy viewers, we thank you for your presence for today's words of wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for part 2 of the existence of a supreme intelligent creator established from the divine plan of the ages by Charles Taze Russell. Coming up next is Industrial Mining, Damaging Effects on the Planet and on Our Health, part 3 of 3, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May the melodious sound from heavens bring love and peace to you always in divine blessings. Vegan, because we are the heroes. Who else? Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.